Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. Um, you know by now how much I truly appreciate you for watching, for commenting, for liking and subscribing. Um, I really, really do love when you comment because I like, enjoy responding back to them when I can. And I do try and respond back to nearly every comment, I think. Um, if I haven't, just give me a wee nudge, make sure I do. Uh, we are going to do a budget with me and I'm considering doing, excuse this book here, it's just to make it even because I'm at an odd angle because Alan's got his legs up um, and whilst he would put his legs down, Piper is also on his legs so um, she shall not be disturbed, <laughs> little princess. Yeah, so that book's there just to make it even easier for writing on. So we are going to do a budget with me for next week. I think I might just do a cash stuffing all in one and see how that goes, see how long it is. If it gets too long, I'll do my cash stuffing after. Um, but we'll see how it manages. I'm um, just going to move this over here. Give me a bit more space. So yeah, I do have the cash ready if need be, but we'll see how we go. So I have just done my closeout for the week for last week and we rolled over 595 pound and 42 pence which is correct i then i'm going to bring in my etsy pay so this pay is from um may or june i think i missed a payment i missed um paying myself one month so i've gone back to make it even and then i'll pay myself like for october I'll pay myself uh, money from August, uh, if that makes sense. So we're bringing in 226.25. So I do appreciate everybody that has um, bought things from my Etsy over the last year. I really, really do appreciate it. And then my winnings, the £50 that I won, I got the cheque, but it didn't go into the bank yet. So we're going to pop it in here um, just to see if I managed to get it to the bank. Um, I did try and take a photo of it, but it um, wouldn't scan for some reason. So I'll just take it into the bank when I go to work tomorrow and see if it clears. If not, it'll be in next week's. So I'm just adding these three together, which gives us 63567. I've got two bills due to come out. So that's Netflix at 699 and um tv license at 13.25 as you all know i was planning on getting rid of a netflix but then now that we're back here we've been watching it again so if i then go home and we don't watch it i will be cancelling netflix but for the moment um it's all good we're using it and tv license i'm not going to cancel that i'm just going to continue to pay that uh, as much as many people think we shouldn't have to i mean i agree we shouldn't have to but i also don't want people coming knocking at my door uh, I know they can't do anything, but even just the fact of them knocking at my door it would just put me into a stressful situation, which I'm not prepared to do. So take the two bills off. That gives me 61543. I am not planning using any sinking funds this week. Actually, no, I am. I'm going to buy a gift for a birthday. So we're going to take money out of birthday gifts. So we're going to take £135 out of there, so that's for two gifts, so that is um, for my father and my niece, um, that's going towards their gifts, might not use all of that but I'll definitely use well over 100 anyway, so we'll deduct that, so yeah, we're going to have to add that in here or else it won't, um, it won't work will it? <laughs> 135. I should have been more organised. I'm going to have to start again. So we have 3, 3, 5, 9, 42, plus 2, 2, 6, 25, 50, and the 1, 3, 5. It's 7, 7, 0. 67. And we'll dig it up the 2024, which leaves us with 75043, and then we'll dig up the 135, and that just takes us back to 6. I need to see. 
that takes us back to 61543. I'm then going to move these files out of the way. <laughs> I'm then going to put £20 over as extra debt payment. I have combined two of my credit cards together um, so that I get not percent interest on one of them um so that is i thought that was quite a sensible move um and it's a credit card that i have a direct debit for so that direct debit will increase for a little while but then if i keep putting the extra debt towards it then that'll be that'll be fine um sinking funds let's have a wee look i'm going to put 95 pound over to sinking funds and we are going to put £5 to emergency for car, £5 to vet fund as always. I'm going to put £5 into appliances because I do need some new appliances coming up um, and I want to be prepared for that. Hair and Beauty is going to get £15. Um, holiday is actually fully funded. Um, days out, we're going to put £10 in. £20 to birthdays, £5 to eating out, £10 to Christmas and £20 to Alan's Christmas. So that is £95. So we'll deduct that from the 595, which leaves us with five. I'll just do it so it's on the camera. <laughs> um leaves us with 543. And then we are going to put £25 to groceries. We're going to put £45 to fuel. My spending, we are going to roll the dice and do our pumpkin faces. here so what are we hoping for with the pumpkin face a mouth is probably what we get but we really are looking for either eyes or a nose so this is the insert for the pumpkin so if you buy the insert alone this is what you get if you buy the insert an envelope then you get the um, envelope as well as the, the sort of dashboard for it um that seems to confuse a few, few people they think they're going to get a double-sided but it's not it's just single-sided um if you do order accidentally just give me a message and we can figure it out to get you the the envelope and things as well um but yeah we're going to roll the dice um we are hoping for Eyes a one or four or a nose a two or five. We got a five, so we're going to draw a nose. I'm going to stick with the triangle theme on this one. Draw a wee nose, so that's him now complete. Yeah, we've completed our first little pumpkin. How cute. I'm looking forward to seeing, there's been quite a few people have bought this, so I'm looking forward to seeing what your little pumpkin faces look like. If you don't do a YouTube video, um, but you watch mine, um, and, and you're on Instagram, send me a wee picture of them if you don't, you know, share your budget or your challenges or whatever. I would still love to see them. So we rolled a five which is um a nose so we are putting three pound into the pumpkin challenge which i haven't got here three pound oh i don't normally do a pound sign which means i have seven pound to treat myself with this week whether I will, whether I won't, that's another matter. Um, I'm not very good at spending my spending money, but um, I will probably use it for things like vitamins and things like that. It seems to be my what I spend my money on. So that will go in there and we'll do that at the cash stuffing. When we do that, we'll put the £3 in there later. So in total, into my purse, we have... 
25 plus 45 for fuel. Oh, I definitely need a big button, bigger buttons. Plus seven pound plus five. So we're going to be 82 pounds going into my cash envelopes this week. So 543 minus 82 is 418. 43 and then we're going to put £10 into the monthly challenge at the end of the book and that should complete it I think um, we are going to just use any leftover money in Halloween challenge challenge we're going to lose leftover money in Perry challenge um, and the pumpkin challenge the pumpkin faces we are putting £3 in and the spook and save we are going to not predict because it's whatever's left over from this seven pound we'll go in there so 13 pound in total apologies if you can hear the washing machine uh, i didn't think and i put the washer on just before i started recording so 405.43 should take us into the next week um which will be the last week in september which is fab um and it's also the week that I'll be away, so I might do bigger stuffing just to make sure I've got everything in place, but we will see. Um, in October, I am going to be bringing in my um, 26 weeks challenge in October. Um, so yeah, we'll be back. At the minute, I am leaving these ones as is. I'm going to try and get a wee box, but I think what I'm going to do for sale is... Um, put them on a wee, like have a little bit extra here and put them on a wee binder just to keep them all together um, because I can't really find a box that is suitable it's not too big if that makes sense and also I'll put postage up quite a lot if I'm going to, if I was to send them out in a box which is a shame because I do like them they are little mini envelopes as well, I don't know if I said that they are little envelopes um, which I know isn't ideal for the coins but um, most people have like a piggy bank or something you know or even one of these without the beautiful drawing on it but you know most people are have these lying about now or little tupperwares or anything like that that you could put in the coins um if you wish but um to try and keep top costs down i think i'll just put a little binder ring on them um but yeah they're coming into my budget in october so we're going to leave it there. It's now 12 minutes and I'll just do a separate cash stuff. So take care, have a good one and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.